So now I'm ready to go into Blender, which is my 3D program that I want to use to edit this a little further. Blender looks like it's on your toolbar at the bottom of your dock. Orange circle with these three kind of fingers going off it in like a blue circle in the middle. Not really sure what the icon's supposed to represent, but that's what Blender is. Blender is a free 3D program, so like Sculptress, it's free. Unlike Sculptress, it's, um, it's what's called a hard surface modeler. Um, it actually can do a lot. It can do um, animation, it can create um, you know, things like cars and buildings, but you can also create um, more you know, organic creatures like you do in Sculptress. Um, it's a very powerful program, but not very intuitive. When it opens, you're going to see this screen right here. Uh, what you want to do every single time you open Blender, you need to do this. See where it says Interaction and it says Preset. I want you to click on that and then click on 3DS Max. That won't change. It doesn't look like anything's happened, but what you've done in the background is told it that you want the interaction, which means the shortcuts for the, the, um, the tools you're using, to be f set for 3DS Max. If you use a different preset like Maya, when I give you specific keys to use, they may not work. So make sure that you set this as 3ds Max before you go into Blender. Once you've done that, you're going to click back into Blender. And here's the screen. Now you'll notice that you start out with a cube, which can be helpful. I mean, if you want to create a platform, then you can use this. For the moment, I'm going to delete it, and I'm going to delete it because I want you to be able to see your file imported in here. So I'm going to click on the cube, and I'm going to go down here to the object menu. And then I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to click the delete option. And then it says OK, delete, and I say OK. So now there's actually nothing in my scene. What I want to do is import that OBJ file that I exported from Sculptress. So I'm going to go up to the file menu, import, and then from the import menu you'll notice there's a bunch of different files you can import. One of them it says wavefront.obj. Wavefront is an old um, it was an old program, 3D program, so that's why it still says that even though Wavefront is no longer around in the same way. But it's still an OBJ file, that's what we want. It's going to take me to my, um, my, my organization here and I need to find it. So I clicked on my documents and then there's my creature right here, .obj. So I'm going to click import OBJ. Sometimes it takes a minute. Okay, so there it is. Um, when I in Blender, what I want to do is if I want to zoom in, I scroll my mouse wheel. To rotate in Blender, rotate your view, you're going to click the Option button on your keyboard, and then your middle mouse button, which is actually your scroll wheel, if you click that and drag, you will be able to rotate your creature. Just like this. Okay. The other thing you need to know about Blender is that there's th basically three mo modes that you can be in here where you can either move it. So right now the default is to move and you have the arrows. You see the arrows. These are the, each of the colors represents an axis. So there's X, Y, and Z. I'm going to move my creature up a little bit. Um, let's say that I want to rotate something. Then I'm going to hit the E key on my keyboard. E as an elephant. And you'll see a rotation option here. So now I can rotate like this. Um, if I want to scale something, I can hit the R key and I can scale my creature. Oh, kind of a fun thing, but not necessarily what I want to live with forever. Um, if I want to get back to move, I hit W. So notice that the three keys are next to each other on the keyboard. It's W, E, and R. So it's real easy to, to toggle between those. So um, the next video I'm going to talk about how to add a platform for your character.